Hi guys, was Joe Biden right to comment on what Liz Truss is doing with her mini budget? And let's call it her mini budget because she backed it and she still backs it even though she fired her Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng. It used to be his, but in reality it was always hers. Here Biden expressed some criticism of imposing austerity on ordinary people while cutting taxes on the super wealthy. Now some commentators in Britain have attacked him over this. Are they right? Well, first, let's listen to what the U.S. president had to say. Well, it's predictable. I, mean, it was, I wasn't the only one that thought it was a mistake. And the, the, yeah. But look, it, she, uh, she... Well, I, I think that uh, the idea of cutting taxes on a super wealthy at a time when... Anyway, I just think... I disagree with the policy, but it's up to Great Britain to make that judgment, not me. Okay, he's correct about two things here. First, um, that it was a mistake, and, and he's not the only one saying it was a mistake. You know who else called it a mistake? The new Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt. So Jeremy Hunt, in an interview recently, said it was a mistake. A lot of parts of the mini-budget were a mistake, and he's there to undo that mistake. Now, unfortunately, I feel that he's going to go down the road of austerity in a very, very cutting level of austerity, especially at a time when people are struggling. And instead of cutting public spending, you should be increasing public spending. There is a, re a recession on the horizon and it's, you know, cuts to public services are going to deepen that recession. Now, Biden also said that it's not for him to get involved. This is the business of the British government. And he's correct to a certain extent, but I disagree with British commentators who are saying he shouldn't be getting involved because there's a real risk that if the Tories send the economy down the toilet, this could spread. You know, you had the IMF intervening recently. You have the Bank of England trying to put a break on what uh, Truss and the former Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng were doing. This could really spread. And we saw also pension funds were hours away from total collapse. And remember, a lot of these funds are you know, connected internationally. There's a, there are funds that, um, pension funds and uh, things like this are, they have investments all over the world. And if one collapses in one part of the world, it has an effect somewhere else. And there was a real risk of this spreading. So Biden is correct in a sense that it's not for him to get involved politically, but there is a real concern and it could affect the US economy as well. So he doesn't want the British government messing about. Um, it was a mistake. And hopefully with Jeremy Hunt, apart from the austerity aspect of it, hopefully he's going to take a more sobering approach to this, a more adult approach to this. I don't know if that's going to happen, but hopefully he will and will uh, come through this. But there is real concerns for the global economy because of the messing about of Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.